On the night of May 17th, Russian troops launched massive missile strikes against Ukrainian army facilities in the Kiev, Kharkov, Cherkasy, and Mykolaiv regions of Ukraine. In its turn, the Ukrainian armed forces continued shelling Russian regions adjacent to the conflict zone. The Kiev strike drones were aimed at the central regions of the Russian Federation. All targets were intercepted by the Russian air defense system. The wreckage of one drone fell near the city of Kaluga, 190 kilometers from Moscow. On May 16th and 17th, Wagner PMC gunners destroyed bridges used by the AFU to move military equipment and reserves to the western part of Bakhmut. The Wagner units made progress in the west of Bakhmut. According to the PMC leadership, the Nezdo stronghold was completely captured by Russian troops. The Russian Army Command is trying to stop the advance of the AFU on the flanks of the Bakhmut grouping. Massive artillery and airstrikes continue to be carried out against the rear of the AFU. Radiation spikes in the air appeared in eastern Poland. Yesterday in Lublin, measuring instruments recorded a six to seven times increase in bismuth levels. Earlier, on May 14th, storage sites of NATO shells, including those containing depleted uranium, were detonated near the Ukrainian cities of Kilmitnitsky and Ternopol. In Kilmitnitsky, radiation levels jumped from 80 to 160 nanosieverts per hour, which is not a critical level for people, but signals an event. On May 14th and 15th, the wind conditions in Eastern Europe contributed to the movement of air masses from east to west. Amid this background, Ukrainian President Zelensky's successful tour of Western countries continues. Kiev has received assurances of new deliveries of NATO military equipment. Germany announced that it would transfer 30 more tanks, 20 BMPs, 18 howitzers, 200 armored vehicles, 200 UAVs, and other equipment to Ukraine. The German government declared it would add military equipment worth 2.7 billion euros to the already delivered arms worth 2.75 billion euros. France stated that it would transfer dozens of AMX-10 RC wheel tanks and Caesar self-propelled howitzers. The United Kingdom is transferring hundreds of UAVs with a range of more than 200 kilometers to Ukraine. The United States has already supplied Ukraine with more than one million shells. There is no doubt that the scale of the current conflict in Ukraine will expand. NATO countries have driven themselves into a trap in which they have essentially lost control of developments in Eastern Europe. In the 1980s of the 20th century, the USSR General Staff conducted a series of command staff games on a possible nuclear-free armed conflict in Eastern Europe. However, in all games of the series, one side always ended up requesting a tactical nuclear strike on the enemy, with an obvious escalation of the conflict into nuclear war. The events of the past year are unfortunately steadily leading to such a scenario.